is a host of the only nationally syndicated cannabis education show in the United States. He's also the leader of the Chronic Kings of Comedy. Please give it up to the one and only Medicinal Michael Boyle! What's up, Improv? Woo! Woo! Give it up for your host, Benji Garcia Reyes, tonight. I'm the white guy on the show to confirm all his white tales that they're all true. We do all those things. <laughs> Big up for uh, Stoner Rock tonight, guys. Give him an applause, man. It's good to see him. My first fucking show at the Improv, and this asshole puts his fucking face over the entire Improv sign. <laughs> The fucking IMDb it looks like I'm in his basement and shit. Rob's my fucking yin yang too. I have to do all the educational shit. You know, I can't get high on tape and do all the fun stuff. Rob walks around with fucking whippets. <laughs> fucking store around, man. Whippets are cool. I'm like, well, fucking whippets are cool again, dude. <laughs> he gave me his little whippet container too. I can say that because it is his sponsor. You didn't know that. <laughs> Fuck it, and he gave it to me. And the most important people walk into the room. And I'm fucking holding this whippet container. <laughs> like a fuck, and I hit it. <laughs> like a dumbass. <laughs> so I lost the Weed Maps account. Thanks, <laughs> 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 Rob. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a good night. Anybody got kids out here? Yeah! Nobody wants to admit it. <laughs> it's a slow. <laughs> you can say he got a kid, well, I'll say I got a kid. <laughs> They're not in the fucking parking lot, right? In the car. <laughs> We've been running, we're not paying for it. Next time. <laughs> Kids are cool. I got a 13 year old, and then I just had a brand new one, right? He's like a brand new middle one. And when I had the first one, right? You're like a new dad and shit, right? Back me up. You get there, and you get this little kid, he's all pink and nasty, and you're like, I'm going to protect you from everything, right? You fucking Simba boy. You're like, I'm the one. <laughs> Well, I had the new kid, and all I could think is, I'm not gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I did the first one. <laughs> I blame <you> school. <laughs> he's old, 13. He's like, Dad, MLP. I'm like, shit, I'll whoop his ass. He's in a gang, right? <laughs> MLP, Dad. I take him to the comic book store where I like to go, and he's like, Dad, I wanna get a plush. I'm like, that's not gangster, but it's cool, right? Comes back with a big fucking purple horse with glitter on its ass and a red rainbow. She's telling you now, right? MLP, proud as shit, my little pony. I'm a brony, dad! Fucking kick the closet door out. I'm a brony! Says he's not gay. Remember when you guys went to school? fucking 127 degrees on the playground, right? It was concrete and steel. I became a man by fifth grade. We had the bar. You grab this bar, and you would put some sand in your hands and spin around this motherfucker with your leg hanging over, right? Whoosh. Cherry bomb. We had the teeter-totter. They gave you a pole, and they said, play with this. You put it between your legs. Some of you young guys might not know. This is what you did. And you learn that you can go up and down on a stick and you learn that you can't fucking trust anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up in the air and I'm like, this is fun! But we weren't having fun. <laughs> really laugh. <laughs> the fucking ass hurts for an hour, but you learn. You don't fucking trust nobody. <laughs> We had the jungle gym, they put a couple of the teeter-totter poles and built it into a tower, right? And I wasn't afraid of it, but at every school, some kid fell off that thing and broke his whole fucking top row of teeth. Every fucking school you go to. My kid, his school you get there, and it's fucking blue foam. Anybody ever get high and hang out at the fucking elementary school? If you don't have kids, it's frowned upon. <laughs> Tell your head out. But you go in there and you can bounce across the whole fucking school. My kid's on top of his, his, the jungle gym and he's, Hey, Dad! Boom! Bounce right back onto the jungle gym. <laughs> Let's see. My parents just said, whoop my ass. Clap if you got your ass whooped. Right. My kid, if I kick him and he shifts more than a foot, there's an app on his phone and CPS will get the house. 
He's a badass. He's a badass. <laughs> uh, he goes to the school too, and he's at that age where uh, they're getting little boners. <laughs> And I don't know, I'm like, dude, you put it in the top of your pants. <laughs> you walk around like that, right? It was a normal. He said, we all already do that. <laughs> if you freeze time at an elementary school and you lift everybody's shirt, it's like the Smurf Village. <laughs> My dad growing up was real strict about me, too. Like, I'd come home and I'd be high as shit. And he'd say, you look like you smoke. 2.7 grams of pot. <laughs> Which is exactly what I smoked. I'm like, how the fuck do you know that, right? He's not a wizard. Or big. And he hold up his bag and go, because I'm short, 2.7 grams. <laughs>